Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns. We are starting off with the Three of Wands in your message. Planning for the long-term abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labor. Be patient as you decide what's next in your relationship or in your life's journey, your life's path. This is the three, the three of Wands of waiting for your ships to come in, basically. Putting in the work and now sitting back and waiting. And here's the Four of Swords coming in, but there's time for rest and healing in the situation because there was some kind of harsh communication that went about or you're in your head now and your energy has been drained and now where you've you're exhausted basically having anxiety from all this stuff that went on where you had to put in a lot of action and it's time to heal and rest and contemplate what you're going to do next what you're going to say next when it comes to your emotions the Queen of Cups. Somebody here is going to be coming in with a cup of love. An offering of a cup of love. Why is the Four of Swords here? Sure, guys, angels, and divine. Why do we have the Four of Swords here? So we have the Seven of Pentacles coming in for the Four of Swords. The Ten of Swords coming in. Wow. And the Five of Wands. So with the Four of Swords, you're in your head about stability that came to an end because there was a lot of fighting and arguing going on in the situation what we're going to do is get messages for the three of wands spirit guides angels and divine what is the message for the three of wands being here we do know there's a lot of fighting and arguing and disagreements going on battling conflict within wanting to end this wanting to have stability in a situation just sick and tired of the fighting going on and just the petty arguments here's the eight of cups coming in with the Eight of Cups coming in, that somebody is loving themselves. They're taking the action to walk away from any nonsense, any kind of fighting and quarreling. And telling the truth. Being blunt and honest and just telling it like it is and walking away. Or you're walking away from this harsh person here that's hard with her, harsh with her words. And very passionate, in and out with her passion. With this Three of Wands, waiting for somebody to walk away from a relationship wanting to communicate and have a deeper bond with this person when it comes to romance you, you could be waiting on someone to move closer to you there may, may be a move involved somebody has to move away from a situation and you have to put a lot of passion into it but you're going to be truthful about the situation and you're loving yourself basically now here's loving yourself here's the queen of cups coming in she She's waiting to give somebody her cup. She's going to fix the place up, have her own place, be independent. It, this don't, don't have to be a she, it could be a he. But this person has got it going on and they're making their own happiness come to life. And here is the messages. The Queen of Cups comes back in. Yeah. They're looking for their one. The truth is, they have a lot of emotion for someone. And they're ready to have a lot of passion with this person too. Not only the truth comes out about their love, they see that they're a very passionate type person. They put a lot of passion into things. They wouldn't have a new beginning when it comes to the situation. Now your sh Shaman Dream Oracle says, Willow the Wisp, treasure hidden in the shadows. This is Infinity, a great mystery going on here. Now I do have the Infinity deck. Let me grab it. And we're going to pick a special message from the Infinity deck. I do pick extra cards depending on what kind of deck I get or what kind of card I draw. If I see a word, I'll if I see the infinite word on any of the decks, I, I pull this out. But I have special decks for certain cards that I pull. Okay, here's your message. Powerless. The power struggle is real. All truth will be revealed. Guilt for past actions and behaviors in the situation. But there's treasures hidden within the shadows. You will see something. There's going to be a great mystery revealed to you. Okay. And the power struggles is real. I understand that. Because you finally end this power struggle. Because it's the Ten of Swords is here. And it was very emotional. All truths are revealed at this time. And there's some kind of past actions and behaviors that you feel guilty about. But with this guilt, what you need to do is... Learn from this guilt, from these past actions and behaviors, and don't bring it with you 
in the future. Just bring the memories of it, but don't actually do the actions again. Don't do that behavior again. Change your life for the better. Okay? Now look at this. Here's the beginning of something new. Something great is coming toward you guys. That's what this card means. This is the beginning of something new. Because you see something new. Something in a new light. A new way. Okay. I hope you guys like that message. Capital horns. Thank you for joining me on this video. And if it didn't resonate. Go check out one of the other videos. And always remember. Treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless. I'm going to be doing Gemini next because this said air and we just have Gemini left for the air sign quality people and then we'll have Aries and Leo left after this. Mm -hmm.